Welcome to AP Psychology Unit 4, Part 3A. In this video, we're diving into the intriguing realm of social psychology. We'll explore how our behavior and mental processes are influenced by the people and groups around us. By understanding these dynamics, we can better navigate social situations. First, we'll uncover the impact of social norms and roles and how they shape our actions. Next, we'll delve into social influence theory and the powerful ways it shapes behavior. Finally, we'll outline key concepts such as persuasion techniques, conformity, and obedience, backed by famous studies and real-life examples. Let's get started on this fascinating journey into the psychology of social situations. Let's dive into the foundation of social psychology by exploring social norms and roles. Social norms are the unwritten rules of behavior that govern how we act in various settings. These norms help create expectations for how we should behave as students, employees, friends, and more. For instance, in a classroom, social norms dictate that we raise our hands to speak and respect the teacher's authority. These norms aren't written down, but we follow them because they help our social interactions run smoothly. Now consider the different roles we play in society. Each role, whether it's being a student, an employee, or a family member, comes with its own set of expectations influenced by these norms. These roles guide our behavior, shaping how we interact with others and contribute to social order. Understanding these norms and roles is crucial because they influence almost every aspect of our social lives, from how we dress to how we communicate. By recognizing these underlying rules, we become better equipped to navigate different social situations and understand the behavior of those around us. Remember, social norms and roles are not static. They can change over time and vary across cultures. By being aware of these dynamics, we can better anticipate and adapt to social changes. So, the next time you find yourself in a new social setting, think about the norms at play and the role you might be expected to take on. By doing so, you'll find it easier to fit in and interact effectively with others. Social norms and roles are the building blocks of our social world, shaping our behavior and helping maintain societal harmony. Welcome to the segment on social influence theory. Social influence theory delves into how our behaviors are shaped to align with social demands and expectations. It's fascinating to examine how much of what we do is influenced by those around us. First, we have normative social influence. This comes from our inherent desire to be liked and accepted by others. Think about a time when you went along with the group's preference, even if it wasn't your first choice, just to fit in. That's normative social influence at play. On the other hand, we also have informational social influence. This form of influence is driven by the need to be correct and make the right decisions. For example, in uncertain situations, we often look to others for cues on how to behave correctly. When you're unsure about the dress code at a new job and decide to mimic what your colleagues are wearing, you're experiencing informational social influence. Together, these two types of social influence explain a lot about human behavior. They highlight our tendency to conform, whether it's to gain social approval or to be accurate. By understanding these concepts, we can become more aware of the subtle ways our social environment influences us. Stay tuned as we continue to unpack more about how social psychology shapes our everyday lives. Persuasion is a powerful tool in social psychology. It can occur through two primary routes, the central route and the peripheral route. Central route persuasion involves logical arguments and requires our audience to engage in thoughtful consideration of the facts presented. This route depends on strong argument-based communication and is effective when we present individuals with compelling evidence and logical reasoning. On the other hand, peripheral route persuasion relies on superficial cues, such as the attractiveness or credibility of the speaker, rather than the content of the message itself. This method can be particularly effective when the audience is not motivated to closely analyze the details, relying instead on external signals to guide their response. Understanding these two routes to persuasion helps us grasp why some messages resonate more than others and how our decision-making processes can be influenced by different types of communication. Whether through careful reasoning or emotional appeal, the right persuasion techniques can significantly impact our opinions and behaviors. 
In the next segment, we will explore common persuasion techniques in action and see how they play out in real life scenarios. Now let's dive into some common persuasion techniques and see how they work in real life. One well-known technique is the foot in the door method. This involves asking someone to agree to a small request first. Once they comply with the small request, they're more likely to agree to a larger related request later on. For example, if you ask someone to sign a petition, they're more likely to later agree to donate to the cause. This technique works because agreeing to the initial request creates a sense of commitment that makes it easier to agree to subsequent, larger requests. Another powerful persuasion technique is the door in the face method. Here's how it works. You start by making an unrealistically large request that the person is almost certain to refuse. After they turn down the large request, you then make a much smaller request. The contrast makes the smaller requests seem more reasonable by comparison, increasing the likelihood of compliance. For instance, if you ask a friend to lend you $100 and they refuse, they might be more likely to lend you $10 when you ask next. This technique takes advantage of the principle of reciprocity, where people feel obliged to return a favor, especially after turning down a larger request. These techniques are not just theoretical. They're used in everyday situations, from sales and marketing to fundraising and even personal relationships. By understanding how these methods work, we can recognize when they are being used on us and make more informed decisions. Whether it's a salesperson, a fundraiser, or even a friend, being aware of these techniques helps us navigate our social world more effectively. So, next time you encounter a small initial request or a large, seemingly unreasonable one, You'll know what's happening behind the scenes and can respond accordingly. Understanding these persuasion techniques is a valuable skill that can help you both professionally and personally. Conformity and obedience are crucial concepts in social psychology, revealing the extent to which we are influenced by others. Let's delve into two of the most famous studies in this field. Ash's Conformity Experiments and Milgram's Obedience Study. Solomon Ash's experiments in the 1950s highlighted how peer pressure can lead individuals to conform, even when their personal beliefs contradict the group's opinion. Participants were asked to match the length of a line with several options, but when Confederates, a part of the experiment, chose incorrect answers, many participants conformed, giving the same wrong answer to align with the group. This strikingly demonstrates how powerful group influence can be on individual behavior often leading us to question our own judgments. Next, we turn to Stanley Milgram's obedience study, conducted in the early 1960s, which examined how far people would go in obeying an authority figure, even when it involves performing acts that conflict with their personal conscience. Participants thought they were administering painful electric shocks to another volunteer as part of a learning experiment. Astonishingly, a significant proportion of participants complied with the authorities' commands, delivering shocks up to lethal levels. This study revealed the discomforting extent to which ordinary people are willing to obey authority figures, highlighting the potential for obedience to override moral judgment. Both studies underscore the immense impact that social influence can have on our actions and decisions. Understanding these dynamics helps us recognize the pressures we might face in social settings and encourages us to critically assess the reasons behind our behavior. Remember, being aware of conformity and obedience can empower us to make choices aligned with our true values, despite external pressures. By understanding social norms, influences, and persuasion techniques, we can better navigate our social world and make informed decisions. Imagine you're at a party Everyone around is drinking soda, so you choose one over water due to social norms. Or think about how peer pressure influences your decisions even when you know better. Recognizing these social influences helps us understand why we act the way we do in various situations. Advertisements, for example, often use persuasive techniques to sway our choices from what we buy to the opinions we hold. Being aware of these influences enables us to make deliberate, informed choices rather than being swayed unknowingly. Ultimately, understanding the psychology behind social situations empowers us to interact more effectively and responsibly in our everyday lives. 
Thanks for watching. All right, let's test your understanding with a few true or false questions. Ready? Here we go. First question. Social norms are written rules that dictate behavior in society. Is that true or false? Second question. Normative social influence is based on the need to be correct. True or false? Next up, the central route to persuasion involves logical arguments and critical thinking. What do you think? True or false? Fourth question. The foot in the door technique involves making a small request first. Is this true? Finally, obedience is the act of matching attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors to group norms. True or false? Let's see how you did. Social norms are actually unwritten rules that guide our behavior. Normative social influence is driven by the desire to fit in and be liked. The central route to persuasion indeed involves logical arguments and critical thinking. The foot in the door technique does require starting with a small request, and obedience involves following direct commands from an authority figure, not just matching group norms. Great job, and thanks for participating. Thanks for watching our exploration of social psychology in AP Psychology Unit 4, Part 3A. We've delved into social norms, roles, and the various types of social influences that shape our behavior. We also discussed powerful persuasion techniques and the significant studies on conformity and obedience. Understanding these concepts helps us navigate the complexities of our social world more effectively. Remember, by being aware of how social factors influence us, we can make better informed decisions in everyday life. Keep these insights in mind as you continue your studies and interactions. See you next time.